Alrighty guys, welcome back to hopefully, no, not hopefully, definitely the final part in my Dragon Force playthrough. Uh, we ended up going really late last night, it was close to midnight when I finished, and I didn't want to be going until, you know, 1, 2, or 3 a.m. Uh, cause I'm on, I'm not on graveyard shifts anymore, I don't stay up all night anymore, so, uh, yeah, I wanted to end the stream. Uh, I think we still, I think we still streamed like seven hours yesterday, we still played for quite a while. Uh, made a lot of progress, uh, but ran into a couple of hitches, uh, some really annoying game design choices, but we got past that, and what we have now is the, just pretty much the last stretch of the game. Uh, we have to defeat Katmondo, and then once we do that, we can pretty much go to the end of the game, and, uh, that is it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and just jump right into this. Um, I predict this will probably take us at least two hours, um... Probably at least two hours. Uh, hopefully no more than that. But, you know, if it goes on a little bit longer, it's not the end of the world. It's not a big deal. Um, but yes, this will definitely be our last our last part. Uh, so technically four parts, which isn't actually too bad. You know, you, you go, you look at other playthroughs, and it's like 27 parts you have to sift through. Uh, so it'll be nice to have a full playthrough of this game on YouTube just in four parts instead of 27. So... Um, but James and uh, Krusty, thanks guys for popping in early. I appreciate it. Um, and uh, we don't have... I mean, I actually could if I really wanted to. I could do some searching here. Um, we'll just kind of start off light with some searching. Let people trickle into the stream. <clears throat> searching by the end of the game just takes a long, long time. Because you have so many generals with uh, intelligence over 70. No problem, James says. And I love Krusty spamming those patchy motes. <laughs> she's uh, she's actually out in the living room right now on the couch. Uh, she's been there since I woke up. It's gonna be a sleepy, sleepy day for her. Although I guess technically every day is a sleepy day for her. She sleeps most of the day. Getting a lot of items they don't really need, but you know, I figured, yeah, we'll just we'll just ease into the stream and uh, and just search. Maybe we'll get some coins that I can apply to my Dragon Force members. <clears throat> but we did the shrines on uh, yesterday's stream, and um, we actually didn't really have any problems with the shrine, th thankfully, because I prepped in advance, and that's really key in this game is prepping for the shrines in advance by finding dragon crests and. Um, saving your awards for your Dragon Force members. And so basically what we ended up doing is giving our Dragon Force members, um, uh, you know, Dragon Crests, and then giving them the awards to make sure they have a hundred dragons in their, their in, uh, you know, in their army. On our crest is Cavalry, which we don't really need. We don't really need most of this stuff, but I did get that one book which should boost intelligence for, for someone. You wish you had the patchy life. <laughs> patchy does have a pretty good life, but not the the not the best life she could have because I, I live in a an apartment, so it's not like she can explore around too much. So she's kinda cooped in. But other than that, she lives a good life. She's got lots of comfy things to sleep on, lots of scratchy posts. She gets my $400 gaming chair <laughs> that I can't sit in, but she can. We're getting some decent coins, that's good. She's spoiled. She's a spoiled kitty. And I'm certain that you guys will see her on this playthrough, just like you did on the... Or this stream, just like you guys did on previous streams. Uh, so I went for my third bike ride in a row. So on all my days off this week, I went for bike rides, just short bike rides, because I can't handle too much right now. But just going is good, and I did it three days in a row. 
but I also countered it with McDonald's three days in a row. <laughs> I literally just sucked down some McDonald's like five minutes before streaming, so... And I'm still kind of waking up, too. Um, I've only been up for about an hour and a half. Ate a banana, grabbed some water, went for a bike ride, came back and showered, went to McDonald's. That's been my day so far. No, I don't know why you would go to McDonald's for a salad, to be honest with you. Uh, if I was going to get a salad, I would just go to the grocery store or go to Subway or something like that. Something with spinach. If I... if. And now that things are opening back up, when I do fast food, I'll probably start going back to Subway uh, and getting salads and things like that. I really need to, you know, and, and I need to buy salads, uh, not salads, but I need to buy salad ingredients from the grocery store, like spinach and tomatoes and things like that. But it's pricey. But, yeah, I gotta get back on that horse. Back on that saddle. My blood sugar levels are, like, pretty high right now. I'm trying to get them down without, you know, using insulin and stuff like that. So, basically, that means, you know, healthy eating and good exercise. Alright. So... Got some items I can give these guys. Might as well give it to Gongos because we have to use them in multiple fights coming up. Unfortunately, these are all equipable items, so Gongos pretty much has to have the Star Dragon armlet. Uh, let's see. Where is Wine? What does he have? He's got True Ring. Just get rid of these. Yeah, I didn't even know Wendy's had salads, Krusty. That is interesting. Uh, I would like to go to Wendy's again. I haven't been in a while. When it comes to fast food for me, it's usually Taco Bell and McDonald's. Because they're the closest. But I do love me some Burger King and Wendy's. But they're a little more out of the way. Got the Star Gem Sword. Leon's got the Death Claw. Um, Junin's got the Psycho Sword. Doing all this stuff really doesn't mean anything at this point. The Keto Burger. Yeah, I heard about that. It's like the, like the not real meat burger. Oh, it's bunless. Eh. I mean, if I'm going to fast food, like I already have basically I've already, I've basically given into the fact that I'm not going to eat right, you know, like if, if you, you can't, I don't know. 
if you're really that worried about like your your carbs your carb intake then you really just shouldn't even be doing fast food to begin with because almost everything's got some sort of sugar in it it's like even you know you get the chicken nuggets and it's like oh protein but no it's all that breading uh yeah you know if, if you're really hardcore about it you just really shouldn't even be doing fast food period or if you do go somewhere with a salad get a salad don't get a burger you know <laughs> Your wife likes that bunless crap. <laughs> it's okay, Tassan. We're gonna finish up in this playthrough, I promise, and it's not gonna take seven hours. I'm just going through all my items, and I don't even need to be doing this, but I have so many items, I feel obligated to give them to people. So... <laughs> This is from all the searching we've done, all these items. Oh, well, thanks, Desan. I, I appreciate you sleep through my streams. That, that means a lot to me. It really does. Truly. I do like that watch time though, you know? The more time you guys spend watching my content, the more likely YouTube recommends my content and the greater likelihood that, um, you know, more people discover my channel and I'm okay with that. Although having actual live interaction is more meaningful to me. <laughs> Okay, so what I have to do is send Gongos over here, but I need to get his troops up. I don't know if I can send Gongos by himself. Or, I mean, with generals. Um, I don't know. Let's go ahead and just send Gongos by himself. Because I think this is a scripted sequence. I don't think we actually fight. Just gonna wait. See, this is Katmando right here. And basically what happens, he spawned right here where my pointer is. And if you guys weren't here, he moved down. And because this castle's here, this is like a scripted sequence. My I had to abandon my generals and move them down this way, but when they hit this castle, they reversed back right into Katmando. And Katmando can't be destroyed um, with anyone other than Gongos. So I basically had to get like eight to ten of my generals just murdered completely. And that took like a half an hour. It was such a waste of time. Oh, I was so annoyed last night. Yeah, you can run into some, like, dead-end scenarios in Dragon Force where, like, you get cornered on the playfield and then you just can't do anything. And you have to let your generals die. And they don't really die in this. They, uh, you know, they go to the hospital. But still, I, it's the fact that I had to sit, like, for a half an hour letting all my generals die. Because I have to get into the battle, let the battle load, you know, do the intro sequence for the battle. You know, Cap Mondo comes down and he animates, you know, he comes, you know, he comes free. And then I have to just sit there and let him kill my generals and just do that one by one. It was so tedious. But this should, uh, I think Zanin, was his name Zanin? Zanin should come out. Yep, there he is.
Oh, I actually do have to fight him. Okay. Well, I'm glad I've got those hundred dragons. Dragons against zombies. Um, I might have been able to bring back up troops. I don't remember. <laughs> so let's cross our fingers. Remember, if your uh, if your ruler dies in battle, uh, it's game over. That's basically, I think, the only way you get a game over in this. So we'll just advance, and then we'll just have him sit still. like that. The dragons should wreck the zombies. Because they're dragons, and they're pretty much the best thing ever. I'm just waiting. I actually probably could just use my cross flash right now. Still does a ton of damage. Alright, let's disperse, because I don't know what kind of spells he has. Oh, he's reviving. That's fine. Holy crap, that's all 50? You gotta be kidding me. Jeez. Try to have these guys spread back out and then stand by. I mean, I could probably defeat him with just my magic. Boom. <laughs> I don't even need my dragons to go over there. Yeah, he's resurrecting again. Do cross flash again. This is a reason why it was it was good to level up Gongos as, as much as I did. Because against certain enemies, his his specials are just extremely powerful. Hey, Mr. Bullion. So one thing I don't understand, and maybe this is like a different path you could take in the playthrough, but Xanon basically says here that he wants to kill you. Uh, and you you know, makes it sound like you're gonna fight him again. But when you try to go to Xanon's castle later on, you just run away from it. You can't actually fight him again. It's it's weird. I don't know if there's some kind of alternate scenario that I can trigger, or if it's just a part of, you know, Gongos's uh, campaign. <clears throat> Alright, so what I have to do is actually get these guys out of here. And, uh... And what is his goal? Let's see what his goal is. Oh, he's just going back to his resting spot. Okay, good. Alright, so what I'm going to do is send Gongos up there. Uh, actually, Gongos is here. He's only got 21 men, though. Hmm. Oh, that's 21 men that was free. Okay, I should be fine with 80. Let's go ahead and deploy Gongos. Come on up here and go to Katmando. In the 
meantime, what I'll do is try to get the other Dragon Force members out of here. So basically, Terrace and Reinhardt. <clears throat> we need to get them up here too. Goldark are there already. Okay. Uh, how many are in here? Oh, geez, we have a bunch of people in here. God. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of a bunch of these guys. I'm just gonna get them. I'm just gonna push them up there. All right, army. Direct. Direct them there. Gongos is still moving up, and this is probably Terrace and yeah, Reinhardt. Generals. Okay, these are the other guys I need. Good. Um, let me actually direct them into this castle. Let them rest. Oh yeah, yeah, no, exactly, Dasan. I mean, and this is just one campaign. You got to remember that you also have at least four, I think four other campaigns you can play as. So you can play as McCall here, you can play as Wine, you can play as Junon and Terrace and Leon. Actually, it's more like, uh, it's more like six or seven different campaigns you can play. Um, and so that just adds to the replay value because they all, all the campaigns pan out differently and there's different interactions between the different, um, different kingdoms. Uh, have I played Blasphemous since, Marcelo? Uh, I, I played it, uh, I think once on Twitch afterwards. So I made some more progress. Um, but I haven't played it in probably about a month now. I need to go back to it. I've just had a lot of other stuff I've wanted to play. <clears throat> Ego, welcome to the stream. Gongos is level 31. Jeez. It's crazy. Alright, so what I have to do is use Gongos' third special. And that basically stuns this guy, and then my dragons can start doing damage to him. So we'll just advance normally. All right, dragon spin. Boom, there we go. And now we're pretty much good. He just tries to focus on taking out the enemies right in front of him. And there we go. The foul hell machine. <laughs> All 
Alright, so now our goal is to move everyone to Castle Bloodly. Which is this one over here. Now, we haven't actually triggered that scenario yet. We have to, I think, we probably have to go to the uh, domestic affairs portion, then some scripted sequence kicks in, and then we can go here, and then that'll open up the, uh, the mountain. Army of Dragons is overpowered. Yes, that's the point. Okay, it looks like there's no scripted sequence yet. Um, did I already apply the intelligence up? I think I did. Yeah, the, the dragons, though, are pretty rare in this game. So in order to have dragons, you know, by the end of the game, is you, you kind of have to play a very specific way. Um, let's go to my audience. Check out our captives. Doesn't matter at this point. Holy crap. Most of these guys should join us now. Wow. Okay, maybe not. This is actually kind of funny, because I, I thought that... Oh, I know what's going on here. These are all the guys that were on my side. They all got killed by Katmando. Alright, whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't need them. So, let's go ahead and just save it. Uh, archives. wait a couple more turns um, what I also might have to do is try to go down to uh, Zanin's castle uh, who do we have here Jeez, it's a lot of people Got new neighbors, apparently. I keep hearing them running up and down the stairs as they bring stuff into their apartment. Yeah, so at this point, I really, I'm not really sure what to do. I think I have to just wait. Um, yeah, pretty much just wait. There's going to be a scripted sequence where they say, Go to Bloodly Castle, which is this one. Uh, who do I have here? Is it just him? Okay. Let's go ahead and recruit. Yeah, again, saving up your rewards and then having Dragon Crests really helps you out at the very end of the game. Makes the end game scenarios much easier. Yeah, there we go. Dragon men are escaping from it into the countryside. Yep, here we go. Well, we might even have this beaten in, in the, uh, the next hour. This might uh, be shorter than I thought. Once Katmando appears and you, you do the three shrines, you're pretty much at the end of the game. But it was still good I ended yesterday's stream when I did, because I didn't want to be I didn't want to be sleeping until 3 p.m. again. Especially when I have to wake up for work tomorrow at 7. <laughs> Completely screws up my sleep cycle when I sleep till 3 or 4. 
I'm sure some of you guys understand. Okay. Um... rid of Crawford here. Yeah, definitely crusty. Yep. I'm just going to send them up here. Yeah, so now dragons are on the play field. These two, Cat and Gig, don't need them here. Actually, I'm kind of sad I didn't use Gig at all in this playthrough because he's one of two dragon characters that you, or dragon wielding characters that you get. Oh, jeez. Don't take. Send them up here too. We're going to end up having to fight this dragon, but there are other dragons in the playfield too that I have to watch out for, and I really don't want to fight them at all. So basically, more and more are going to start appearing. So it looks like that's the only dragon so far, which is good. Okay, so, and I'm not even going to worry about Xanon. Grog. Oh, jeez, man. It's three dragons. Ugh. I pretty much have to fight them. This sucks. Alright, well, we'll just do it. We'll do it. Because I need to get everyone in Bloodly Castle, and then I think another scripted sequence uh, triggers. And so I'll just stand by. Basically, more of a defensive formation. I'll have priority. You can see how my dragons start attacking before theirs do. He's gonna do the. Yeah, yeah I knew he was gonna do that. It's fine. Fine, I just do cross flash. So if you really wanted to grind out at the end of the game, this is how you would do it. You would just fight these dragons over and over. Pretty easy. And he still had troops to spare. Yeah, I didn't send my dragons in because I knew that they were going to get wrecked by his dragons because they were more in like a defensive uh, pattern. <clears throat> All right, so Goldark. Wine. I think Wine might have something like uh, Sonic Wave. Cut through that dragon army. I 
Actually, let's do advance first, just spread them out, and then stand by. Jeez, I don't even need to use the magic uh, use my magic. It's crazy. Um, yeah, well, I guess he doesn't have it. I thought he had Sonic Wave or something like that, but apparently not. He's got the Hyper Storm instead. Yeah, <laughs> I barely lost any Krusty. how little damage I'm doing to him, though. I do find it interesting that, uh... You know, Wine has used so much magic because, or his power meter, because his intelligence is, is pretty high. I thought that the higher your intelligence was, the less bar you used uh, when you used your magic. There we go. We'll do the same thing with Gold Arc. Yeah, what really sucks is when they do defensive formations with their dragons. It basically puts you at a major disadvantage. But you can see how when you put your dragons into defensive mode, they have a, a huge advantage. Holy Blast. Let me try that. I just want to see what it is. Yeah, I had a feel okay, I had a feeling that's what it was. Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't hurt the commander, but it does a number in the army. The other funny thing is that that attack he just did um, doesn't really do anything to dragons because dragons are considered flying enemies. Even though they look like they're walking on the ground, they're actually flying. So dragons and uh, harpies are the only flying enemies in the game. See, look at that. It's not affecting any of my guys. If they were ground-based troops, they would have all, you know, a lot of them would have gotten stuck. It is huge, yeah. It's one of the fun things about this game is, you know, seeing all the sprites being tossed around the screen.
<laughs> Gongo's lost one dragon. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. <laughs> So let's see who we've got here. Castle. We need to get rid of some of these guys. So basically what I wanted to do is get Tyrus and Reinhardt's troops up. See, we've got close to 400 uh, reserves. So this is a good place to do it. Uh, let's just deploy Tyrus and Reinhardt. Down here. Let's pause it. I want to see if any more dragons have appeared. You notice I'm not taking over these other castles. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You know, there's no point in taking over everything at this point in the game. Alright, I think I had parked the other guys in here, so let's make sure they're all good. Okay. Kind of wish I had sent them over already. Alright, and we'll take them to Bloodly. Right here, and then we can just go ahead and just let it play out. That's pretty much it. We have to just, you know, after this turns over, I bet you when we come back in, there's going to be more dragons on the play field. Oh, yep, yeah, right here. Let me... If he just appeared, this, there might be another one. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I really did not want to be fighting these dragons. So, just get rid of all of them. It's like, I don't care. Take me to the farthest reaches of the land. Click on the castle. Thank you. I'm basically just trying not to waste time at the end of the game. I just want to get these guys out of here, that's all. Can't go that way. You're gonna run into the dragon, idiots. Alright, let's send them over here. Oh, his goal's all the way over there. You gotta be kidding me, man. I have to empty all these castles in. Actually, you know what? Eh, 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 I don't need to. <laughs> you know, just in case. We'll give Gig all the awards so he gets 100 dragons. I 
Actually, what would have been helpful is maybe giving someone like a hundred samurai in case they run into dragons. But again, at this point in the game, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to go to end, archives, and then update. Wakey, wakey, everyone. We're near the end of the game. You don't want to fall asleep at this part. at the end already. Let me pause it and see if any other dragons have appeared. Okay, it looks like it's just those. Which is good. I've emptied out all the castles so I don't have to bother with fights. See, there's that dragon. Alright, there we go. To make thick steaks of dragon flesh. <laughs> yeah, so now we actually just watch our guys walk up there on their own. This is the final confrontation. Jeez, not even an hour in. I feel like I could have actually done this last night. But no, it was good I went to bed when I did. <laughs> Dragon steak tacos.
Yeah, no, we haven't had many people watching this playthrough at all, James, and I don't blame them, you know. Role-playing games are kind of unexpected on my channel, and, um... They're kind of long and tedious to watch. You have to be, like, really invested in the game, I think, to... to want to watch a stream like this. And that's okay. You know, I wanted to show off the game in my first stream. We played for, like, eight... Seven or eight hours or so, and then, you know, I, I decided I wanted to commit to the whole playthrough, so... Regardless of how many people checked it out, you know, at least we'll have a whole playthrough on my channel, which would be cool. It's like when I stream the Dark Souls games, you know, uh, they're usually multi-part streams and not many people tune in. It just is what it is. If I was doing like a variety stream right now, we would probably have a lot more people. Actually, I, I I honestly expected it to be more than four parts. I wasn't expecting to be able to do it in three. And I definitely would have been able to do it in three, maybe even two, if I had gone like the whole 12 hours on each stream. But because of my, my new work schedule uh, and me starting kind of late in the afternoon, it was hard to do like a whole 12 hours. Yeah, so unfortunately with Scythe, we don't really know what her troops are. But it doesn't really matter, because both of these guys have dragons. <laughs> uh, even if she's got dragons, I've got dragons. So, we're, we're all good. Unless she does a defensive formation, then I'm kind of screwed. Okay, she's got nothing. Oh, never mind. Oh, that's right. She's got the uh, special troops. <clears throat> I forgot about that. We'll just do the usual thing. Stand by. Serve my magic will do the uh, the lowest level one. Wow, that barely did anything. Surprised she's not doing any magic. Kind of like that. Yep. It's a 
awesome game. Alright, let's see what happens here. Okay, good. No more scythe. Second one. <clears throat> He's got dragons this time. But McCall's got samurai. Samurai Rex dragons. Well, to be fair to San, you do know she owns a whole kingdom, right? So... You know, she's technically used to castles since she's the ruler. <laughs> show you Sonic Blast because I haven't actually ever used it. It's a five-way. His sonic boom looks different. Yeah, I might have to run away. Yeah, look at that. So I'll send in Junon, and uh, that should be that should be enough. Hopefully. Oh, it's Reinhardt. <laughs> Sorry, Junon was the last one. <laughs> Reinhardt's got good magic though, so. Although I don't know if these mages are gonna do much to this guy. Come to think of it, maybe I should have started with Reinhardt. But no, he had dragons, so I didn't want to. Didn't want to send mages against dragons.
See, that's good. I'd rather have that because uh, that doesn't actually damage me. It just damages my troops. Uh, let's do Summon Guardian this time. Oh, that's not what I was thinking. <laughs> Oops. That eh, doesn't matter. There we go. We still got it. So this is kind of weird. I don't remember what happens here, but I'm just, we're going to roll with it, I guess. It's kind of odd because we don't have... Uh, we don't have Gongos. I guess, like, Katmondo would just take damage like normal. I guess. We'll see. Yeah, it's interesting that Katmondo comes back without his shield. Notice that there's no timer here now, too. So you can't just time out the battle. You actually have to win. Might end up having to retreat and then send someone else in. But it's fine, we got almost half his health bar down anyway. Cool, she ended up defeating him. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Okay, the 
this is actually really bad. <laughs> I think of it. Let's retreat. I don't know if you actually go into a duel. So we'll send someone else in and finish him off. This is it.
We need to watch out for dragon fireballs here. Oh, he does it automatically. All right, finishing blow. chosen by Ostia. Now she delivers them from fire itself. Sacred heroes of the Dragon Force, thanks to your heroic efforts, Madric's evil hand will never again threaten this beautiful land. You mean Legendra is finally free? Free from the conflict and despair of the evil that bound us? Sirius, I wish nothing more than for that noble dream to become a beautiful reality someday. Do not lose hope. Though conflict and despair will continue to try the mortal world, the cry of a myriad hearts desiring peace can drown out the sickly wail of evil and despair. Work hard to build that future. Show your children the power of love, and you strike a blow with the fortress of hate. Success lies within your grasp, but it will not be easy, for you see, we immortals will no longer intervene in your behalf. As with children who grow to leave their parents, the time has come for you to take charge of your own destiny. Farewell, dear children. The future is yours. The reign of the immortals thus ended, beginning the most exciting chapter in the Gendra's history. With a sequel that no one likes. <laughs> yeah, there is a Dragon Force 2, and I'm going to try to play through it sometime. 
Uh, it's Japanese only, but there was a. Uh, it's been translated. Uh, so I can burn a CDR of it and try it out. But yeah, yes, Vince, we finally won. Just a little over an hour uh, of gameplay. Actually, it took me less time than I thought today. I thought it would take me at least two hours. I've heard the sequel's not really good, Krusty. Um, but I want to play it for myself. I, I did look up some videos a few weeks ago, and it looks like ass compared to this game. Like, apparently a different team made it, and so they went with a completely different visual style. Um, but what seems kind of neat about it is that you can have two different troop types on the playfield at once in your own army, so that seems interesting. Uh, but apparently they also made some other changes uh, to the gameplay. For Some people think for the worse, but, I, you know, I don't know all the changes exactly. We'll find out when I, when I play through the game. I don't know if I'll do a playthrough of it here. I don't know how long it is, but I will definitely try it out on Twitch. Thanks to Son, I appreciate it. Yeah, one thing that's interesting too is the art design on the characters themselves in game are very different from the art design in the full motion video. It's kind of kind of distracting <laughs> when that ending FMV kicks in and like, you know, it's very different from the uh, the stills that we get throughout the game. I really like the character portraits in this game. Uh, I like the art direction. Yeah, Dragon Force is by no means a perfect game. There are a lot of issues I have with it. Um, but I, I, you know... It's still a lot of fun. I still highly recommend it if you guys have never played it before. Um, it's a good chill game. You know, you can, you can play a couple hours here and there. And it's one of those games where, like, you could probably take a long break, come back to it, and not feel like you have to replay the whole game from the start one issue I have with a lot of RPGs is like if you don't play through it straight uh, if you if you take a break anywhere and you try to come back you don't know like you don't remember where the story left off and things like that and you feel like you have to start from, from scratch to get that you know that proper experience but you don't really that's not an issue with Dragon Force so that's one nice little benefit to this game you know you can just play it in, in short bursts here and there Yeah, it's cool that we got a full playthrough knocked out. Hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> I'll let this sit here for a couple of minutes. There actually goes, uh, they do some, uh, There's another clip that plays with some uh, voiceover mess ups. It's kind of funny, so I'll turn it up for that. Yeah, sorry about the hum. <laughs> it's, it's my scaler that I'm going into for uh, for this this stream. Like there's usually noise anyway in the uh, the audio chain, but this uh, this scaler kind of amplifies it. Yeah, if we let this sit here, we'll go to the, uh, the extras. Yeah, that was Dragon Force. Thanks, guys, for hanging out. The handful of you guys that uh, were popping in, I appreciate it. And we'll be back to your regularly scheduled action games and whatnot next week. I'll be publishing these archives over the next couple of weeks. I'm not going to post them all at once to not... Uh, spam your YouTube subscription feeds. And part two is going to go live uh, probably Monday or Tuesday 
and then I'll do part three the week after, and then this final part, part four, I'll probably post after that. I'll have the thumbnails updated so you guys know which one you're you're accessing. I've just been uh, kind of lazy these last few days with the thumbnails. Do, 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 do. There we go. His singular goal was nothing less than complete annihilation of the beautiful land that ought. I'm running out of air. These sentences are long. <laughs> These sentences are long. <laughs> Sacred heroes of the Dragon Force. They nope, slow. You mean Legendra is finally free? Free from the conflict and that wasn't right. And life was good. Did you hear that? <laughs> I shouldn't have eaten I did the wrong thing. I I, I was just starving, but Tiris, I wish nothing. No, I paused too long. It's going to be too long. You mean Legendra is finally free? Free from the... <laughs> I, don't I don't really read reviews, Krusty. It's just word of mouth from the last 20 years. That's what I'm going off of. <laughs> Made a little noise right there. Farewell, dear ch no. <laughs> They're gone. <laughs> Fudge. Fudge. The more I do it, the worse it gets. I can relate to that. This can't be. It wasn't supposed to end like a crap. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool little bonus. Um, yeah, so... Oh, there you go, guys. Dragon Force. But yeah, Crust, you know, it's always best to judge for yourself. Uh, absolutely. But, yeah, from what I've heard over the years, for a very long time, this is not a recent thing, is that Dragon Force 2 is not that great compared to the first one. So, but I don't know for sure without playing it myself. Like I said already, though, I have watched videos, and it, I can tell you it doesn't look anywhere near as, near as appealing as the first one. So, you know, it's kind of a... For me personally, it's off on the wrong wrong foot with its visual Behold, style. The vast land of uh, but we'll see. I will play it sometime and I'll form my own opinion, you know, from a gameplay and standpoint. And given we'll see how it goes. By the six goddesses. But, this but what I would recommend doing for anyone that hasn't own. played any of these, start with the first Ostia, one. The foremost goddess, and if you really like the first one, then consider trying to track down the translated version of part two and then give it a go. The see if you like it. You might like it. You might not. And lush I don't rolling know. hills that spread from ocean to sparkling ocean. So unless you guys have any other last minute questions or comments or anything. Austria, which I suspect not, because chat hasn't been very busy. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here. However, as with and, all uh, such tales bordering on I think we're gonna stream on Twitch for the first time in like a week. Wait to cast a dark shadow. See how I feel. I'm probably going to take a, a break for a little bit before I uh, kick off to another stream. But it is still pretty early in the day for me. It's 3.30. So I've got plenty of time. Yeah, I'm glad I, I went through the whole game. Uh, I was not expecting to do this. You know, when I, when I did part one, I was just like... You know, we'll just play, see the kind of progress we make, and if I make good progress, then maybe I'll, I'll, I'll follow it up. And we did, and so I did. And here we go, we got a full Dragon Force playthrough. 
So again, if, if you've never played this before, you can pick other kingdoms to play as, and, you know, the game plays out differently. So the stuff I did with Gongos will be different if you play as, like, Terrace or Junon or, or, or Leon, you know, or Macau. So it's something to keep in mind about this game. If you've never played it and you thought it was remotely interesting, uh, there's a lot of replay value. So, the game plays out pretty differently depending on who you play as. Now, the end game, I think, is pretty much always, you know, roughly the same. Um, you might have different teams at the end fighting Scythe and, and whatnot. But, um... The rest of the game will, will play out pretty differently. So, it's pretty neat. It's fun. But well, that's going to do it for me, guys. I don't see anyone else really typing in the chat, so I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys for hanging out. It was fun. And, uh, yeah, I posted a new Let's Play for Tay, uh, today for anyone that missed it. It's uh, Rockman 3 Complete Works. So if you want some more content to spend the afternoon with, feel free to check that out. Um... It's basically a uh, PlayStation 1 version of Mega Man 3 with some extra features as well as most of the slowdown removed, so it's, it's pretty nice. Uh, Patreon backers and YouTube channel members, I just posted your next Let's Play. So go, go to Patreon or check the YouTube channel member page for, uh, for those. And uh, yeah. Part two of my Dragon Force playthrough will go live on Monday or Tuesday, so if you want to continue, you know, watching this playthrough, uh, check that out. And then the week after, part three will go live, and then the week after that, this part four will go live. Um, yeah, I can't think of really anything else to talk about, so I guess I'm gonna head out. Take it easy, guys. Krusty, James, Desan, Marcelo. I think that's all we've had in the... Oh, Vince. Uh, I think that's all we've had in the last hour or so. Close to it. But yeah. All right, guys. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Until the next one, take it easy.